evening, Simon here, Explosive Action, back for my August update. I do understand it is already September, but I have August to do, and I have uh, quite a few movies, as you can see here, mixed formats, and I have music as well, but I'm going to split this one into two updates, because it's just going to be too big if I don't, so this update is for the movies, the second update will be music only, so let's get on with the movies. So we'll start with the DVDs and Blu-rays, and first one from the top is Luna Cop. Yep, Luna Cop. It's a Michael Paré film, and it's a Dutch release, which seems to be the best way of getting it. New image, apocalyptic science fiction action. This is my wheelhouse right here. It looks cheap, it looks nasty, and there's plenty of them on eBay for like $3, so... I jumped at it. Luna Cop looks like it's going to be good fun. Scorpio 1. Jeff Speakman, Robert Carradine. And uh, it's actually got... Um, oh, what's his name? Brent Huff is in this film as the bad guy. And um, I reviewed this one on my blog many years ago from VHS. And then I just discovered that we had a local Australian DVD. I think it's the only DVD. It's quite good. It's better than the VHS. It's nothing amazing. It's full screen, but it is uh, not sourced from a tape. Um, and there's a few of them on eBay. So, yep, it's a poor man's, um, I guess it's a diehard in space, I suppose. It's one of those kind of films. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't mind it. It's a bit bland, but uh, it's all right. It does the job. Somewhat entertaining. And uh, it's one of those ones from... Um, Oh, what are they called? It's not, uh, it's like Twin Oaks or something. I can't remember the name of them. Uh, Royal Oaks, there you go. It's written on the back. Royal Oaks Entertainment, who are like, if you've got New Image at the top and then PM Entertainment for all the big trashy ones, then you've got Royal Oaks for the made for cable TV. That's basically what you get. Anyway, entertaining enough. Not too bad. Got this one at the Vinnies. I don't know what this is, actually, to be honest. It's uh, 13 Sametti. It's a... Russian, I believe, um, dark black comedy is what I understand this is, uh, 13 players, one bullet, the ultimate game of chance, um, I picked it up mainly because it's an old siren visual, and it looked kind of interesting, um, so I, yeah, I don't know a great deal about it, but um, when I showed it to somebody, they said, yeah, it's a good film, so, all right, well, there you go, 13 Zametti, let me know if you've seen it. Couldn't believe that I found this at a Vinnie's for $5. G.I. Joe Season 1.1 Shout Factory DVD in an Australian charity shop. Two uh, discs, well, two slips, but it's uh, four discs all up for um, the first half of Season 1, I think. It must be huge seasons. It was like $5. Wonderful little slipcase. Some G.I. Joe. It's not something I would have gone out of my way to get, but it was there. And uh, it's the kind of thing I need to start showing my kid more of. So there you go. G.I. Joe. Uh, Escape Plan, The Extractors, the third one in the series. First film was good. Second film was not. Uh, but even Stallone has said that. He said it was terrible. But this one I've heard is pretty good. So I am actually looking forward to checking out this one. They should have called it The Redemption. That would have been funny. Um, slipcase edition, sort of embossed kind of thing. We're getting a local release, but the cover looks like shit, and they've changed the name. I think it's not called The Extractors, it's just something else. Anyway, um, this was cheap on eBay because it's missing the digital card or something, like I care. So um, that saved me a lot of money. So that's it. Escape Plan 3. Um, Abduction, new Scott Adkins film. This is actually out on Shout Factory, which is surprising. Um... Yeah, this is um, another Scott Adkins and Aliens one. So, yeah, I, I'm hoping it's really good. It's funny how they're now putting him as uh, Scott Adkins from Doctor Strange. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear. Oh, well. you got to get the normies in there somehow. And, uh, yeah, well, look, I'm hoping that this is okay. He's done a, another Alien one that was not so okay. But, um, look, it's got to be better than that. So, Abduction. And uh, speaking of Scott Adkins, Avengement that I showed in my last update, the German blue. I did pick up the UK blue in the end because the German one is badly cut. The UK one is uncensored. 
Uh, cheapy from the charity store, Stallone and Banderas Assassins, just a DVD upgrade. It was like $2 to get the Blu-ray. Um, it's an alright Stallone, middle ground, nothing exciting, but uh, yeah, $2 upgrade. Got a few from, um, what's this company called again? Uh, Wellgo, American company. Um, did not intend to buy the 4K. Uh, that is all that Amazon Australia had at the time. I don't know why. It was priced exactly the same as what a Blu-ray should have been, and it contains a Blu-ray, so whatever. I have Shadow on Blu-ray with a bonus 4K that I cannot use, but that's fine. I will watch the Blu-ray. Um, the trailer for this, the trailer for all of the next ones I'm about to show, were on the start of Triple Threat, which is a great film. And uh, the trailer for this looked really, really good. So as it says, from the director of Hero and Flouse of House of Flying Daggers. Um, it looked really interesting um, with these spinny umbrella things. So, uh, yeah, that's Shadow. Um, let's see what that one's like. Uh, Rampant, also on Wellgo. I'm really liking how they do their releases. They're nice slips. It's all just lean and clean. They're nice. Uh, yep, from the director of... Um, from the studio, sorry, that brought you Train of Busan. This is Rampant. Um, I'm not sure if I show this in my last update or not. I very well might have. But if not, anyway, as it says, Game of Thrones meets 28 Days Later. So there's a TV series also called Kingdom uh, that I meant to watch. And uh, this is a movie that is of a very similar theme. I do think I might have shown it in my last update, actually. But I didn't show uh, Master Z Ip Man Legacy. Not entirely sure where this one fits in the scheme of things. Um... Well, it's a spin-off, I guess. There you go. So it's not really like an Ip Man 4 or 5. I think they're doing 4 now, aren't they? And I think... Uh, I think... Um, didn't Scott Adkins sign up for that? Somebody signed up for that. Anyway, uh, this is a spin-off. Um, and it just looked really cool from the trailer, Master Z Ip Man Legacy. So we'll see how that one goes. And lastly, another one from Wellgo. Brand new release. This one looks pretty cool. Action film, The Brink. One of the year's best action films. I do like my Asian action films. Relentless Barrage of Action. Starring the same guy from Master Z. And there you go. Looks really cool to me. So, yep, going in blind on most of these, just by the trailers, really. Should be good. Um, all right, on to Arrow. Alice Sweet Alice, US Blu-ray. Because the UK already has the 88 films one with the shitty print, and this one is a revelation. Not on Amazon Australia. I had to go to the Amazon US for this, which meant I had to pay bloody shipping. So it wasn't, uh, wasn't that affordable in the end. Um, but, you know, what can I do about that? Change hands, I was falling asleep. Alice, sweet Alice. Um, good proto slasher. Um, I quite like this one. And, uh, yeah, the, the print on this is uh, much, much improved. Nice slip from Arrow with the art underneath that you'd know from the 88 films release. So very nice upgrade there. Uh, the Rolex of slipcases. This is Dead Pit. It is a pretty cool slipcase, but Jesus Christ, the rigmarole about this release. Um, yep. Code red number 179, co-released by Dark Force. Less said about their shenanigans, the better, but it is a good release. Solid um, Blu-ray upgrade of a fun horror film, and it does have a nice slipcover. So it's technically out of print. Um, I think there's a couple of copies on eBay that are not terribly priced, but most of them are. And you try Dark Force's website and you might get lucky, I don't know. Moon in Scorpio. There's a bad moon rising. There's a bad movie rising, more likely. This is a Scorpion Entertainment release. Um, and uh, I haven't seen it since VHS days, and it didn't make a great deal of sense then. And it probably won't now, but it's in HD, so that's an improvement. Um, yeah, this was a just... Uh, this was just a weird one. That's all I can really remember. It was weird, sort of slasher. So, yeah, Moon in Scorpio. We'll check it out again. 
Another one from Scorpion, The Mummy's Revenge, a Paul Nashi film. Looking forward to this one, actually. Uh, supposedly quite a nice print on this. Uh, it's obviously English subtitles, Spanish audio. And, uh, yeah, nice slipcase. Um, this one you can't get on Amazon and stuff. You've got to get it from Ronan if you're in the States or Diabolic DVD otherwise. And, uh, yep, nice one to pick up. This one's got a bit of a story. This is, not that I can translate that one for you, but this is um, So Sweet, So Dead, also called The Slasher. Now, you may think it looks a bit naked, and that's because it's missing its outer slip. Um, they're supposed to, this is a camera obscura release, and they have an outer slip case. This one is missing it, which is why it cost me all of $5. Now, I already have The Slasher, which is the... Uh, Code Red Blu-ray, but that only has English audio. This is the Italian audio English subtitle release. DVD, not Blu-ray. Um, very long out of print and will usually fetch $150, $200. But this one was listed without its slip and nobody bid against me for 5 I can live without a slip for $5. It's fine. Even if I get desperate, I can just put this disc inside the code red case and then put this box somewhere else but hey five dollars and it's how the movie was meant to be seen the devil hunter jess franco piece of am i gonna get in trouble for showing those boobs um this film's not good but you know jess franco zombies boobs and uh it wasn't very expensive and uh i didn't actually have it i think i had a dvd years ago and got rid of it in a cull but you know hey, oh there's those boobs again um but uh, I decided to pick it up because it was cheap enough and uh, the slip cases were running out and I am oh, I'm just one of those guys when it comes to slip cases. I don't know why. They get you, don't they? Whatever. Eureka, also with a slip case. This is their John Woo double, Last Hurrah for Chivalry and Hand of Death. Uh, both of these I have on Hong Kong Legend DVDs. This is a nice Blu-ray upgrade for both two discs, two films. Eureka's probably doing the best job of these. 88's doing some as well, um, but I think Eureka's, they're really doing uh, wonderful work. They're like, they may as well be the UK criterion. Really good transfers. They put a lot of effort into their uh, quality and... Um, haven't checked these ones out yet since the DVD days, but um, I'm sure they're going to be worth the upgrade. And another one. I never had this on DVD. I don't remember if there was or wasn't. Um, Grindhouse releasing The Tough Ones, directed by Umberto Lenzi, uh, with Maurizio Merli, you can tell there, with his moustache. Grizzly Euro crime action, this one. Thomas Milan as well. That's really cool, that skull. Yes, I did get the bullet with it. It's up there on the shelf somewhere. There you go, up there with Robocop. And, um, yeah, it's just another good Grindhouse release, number 12. And uh, haven't checked it out yet, but um, I'm expecting it to be a really good film. Um, I've heard it's really good, and it's the uncensored director's cut, so that's a win. Now this, I was happy to get. Death Weekend, Canadian horror film, finally on Blu-ray. This is a German Blu-ray from NSM. I'm not entirely sure of the legality of these things. Um, I haven't heard enough about NSM to say otherwise. They're probably fine. It does have a Lionsgate logo. Um, but some of the other companies like X-Rated Cult, they're, yeah, they're a bit dodgy. But anyway, pretty sure this one's fine. And the print is excellent. Number 49 of 222. There's like five cover variants. This was my backup one. The one I wanted was uh, more like uh, this disc. I thought that was the neatest one, but they sold out of that. So you get uh, the film, you get a nice booklet all in German, and it's in a nice media book, which is really good. So this is a, um, a rape revenge film, exploitation, and um, probably one of the best ones, I think. Her home invasion stuff, and uh, yeah, she gets, uh, she gets her own back. It's really good. Hasn't... Oh, I'll take that back. I was going to say it hasn't had a DVD, but it did get a, I think it was a French DVD maybe two years ago. It's not very widely released. No American release, no English release, but um, the Germans have come to the rescue with this nice Blu-ray. 
still available um i think with this cover a few other covers so um you'll have to hunt around some of the specific german sites amazon de for those who will get things shipped from amazon de to them they won't ship to australia anymore but anyway death weekend good film and the last in the blu-rays oh amazing the bloody terror box set fucking hell the ways a ton um yeah, this is a this is a really nice solid set from Indicator. Um, you get Bloody New Year, Inseminoid, Terror, Prey, Satan Slave. Now, all of those have score have um, Vinegar Syndrome releases except for Inseminoid. So I'm not a completist with Vinegar, so I ended up selling all those. Broke even to buy this box, which meant Inseminoid was free. And he had a nice book all about the films of uh, Norman Warren. And uh, yeah, it's just a really quality set. Uh, there are reported issues with Inseminoid on some players. Seems fine for mine. And I'm assuming they will do a disc replacement if they need to at some point. But uh, otherwise, yeah, good stuff and a nice set. Let's see if we can get some out. So we get a... As a poster, get some uh, lobby cards, a big booklet, which has got pictures and stuff about the movies, and then these slimline cases, which are really nice, individual discs. I quite like how they've done this with the poster art. So there's Satan's Slave, Prey, Terror. Inseminoid, great cover. And a bloody new year. Laser discs. Haven't got some of these in a while. I got very lucky on local Australian eBay. Looking for some Hong Kong laser discs, and a porn broker had a uh, whole bunch of them, and they didn't seem to know what they were, and they were listing them cheap. And um, I bought the one on top because I knew what that was. And I asked him uh, if he'd do a bulk deal on the rest, because he couldn't confirm if they had English subtitles or not. It's a problem you get with a lot of these Hong Kong discs, is that you just don't know. And uh, so we came to a gentleman's agreement for a cheap, cheap price, and he accepted. And thankfully, all but one uh, have English subtitles, and the one I have left out of this update but the rest of them they're all english friendly which makes me very happy so cantonese audio and english subtitles first one here is you can find the pink writing down the corner it's a kid from tibet a universe disc kind of a hard one to pick up this and it looks like a lot of fun i don't know a great deal about these films i've not seen them before but this one certainly looks like a supernatural action comedy and uh, have checked them all and they all play fine and are all uh, English subtitled as I said I mean, with Laserdisc if you don't know the there's no such thing as a subtitle track it's just part of the video so this one as you can see there it says Cantonese and Mandarin version no hint of English you've just got to know or be lucky and thankfully I got lucky also the uh, Mi R release of Legend of Wong Tai Sin which does also look like a kind of bit of fun but haven't seen them so I don't know what anything about it except for this one's being more of a fantasy film so yeah hopefully this is fun too especially with the price that I pay for all these I can't really argue Another me are release. This is the Lunities, which I think might be a typo. Um, this one looks also like a action comedy. Cool cover on the back there. Just absolutely no reference to languages at all. You just just gotta know. And people like these porn brokers, they don't have players to check for you. So, and a lot of the time, even looking online, you go to LDDB, Laserdisc data database, and most of the time it's just filled with question marks. I don't know what the hell you're going to get. So I should probably go and fill in the blanks for them. Um, next one. Aces Go Places number four. Which is in fact the uh, first Aces Go Places I've got. 
these do have um, various TBD releases, but um, not easy to obtain in uh, correct aspect ratio and uh, language options. This one is uh, uh, Cantonese English subs and widescreen, so I'm happy with that. And is uh, yeah, this whole series is supposed to be really good fun action. Certainly looks like a good time. Aces go places four. Golden Cinema release. Happy with that. This one looks really cheap. I popped it in. Looks like it was shot on video. I think it's quite late, maybe um, early to mid nineties. Um, and it is a lethal match, but it does look quite cheap, production wise. But that's all right. Could be fun. Not entirely sure who's in these this this particular film. And the next two um, heavy things, these are two disc sets. This is The Adventurers, and there's two discs in it. Heavy, heavy thing. Not too sure about who put this one out. Uh, so that might mean it is a mainland China or Taiwan disc. But anyway. The Adventurers, two discs. And the last one for this update is Asian Connection, also two discs on Magnum. So yeah, I was pretty happy to pick up all of these uh, um, Hong Kong action laser discs on the cheap. And uh, that doesn't happen very often on Australian eBay, so I was very happy. All right, that's all for this movie update. I will see you for the music one soon.